Am I not to have any peace? Am I to die with infernal street organ music accosting my ears? Am I not vexed enough that I no longer have time to finish my life's work? It is at times such as these I reflect upon dear departed Ada Lovelace, my faithful assistant, my enchantress of numbers. Would that you were here now. But I am, Charles. Am I losing my faculties? Calm yourself, Charles. I'm here to put your mind at rest. I know not what manner of strangeness this is, but it is of the greatest relief to see you again. <laughs> I have much to tell you and inquire of you. And are you? I feel I have failed. I foresaw a future where machinery and not merely assisted the human hand, but relieved the human intellect. I thought it possible a humble mathematician could make a difference. Or was it just folly? Your ideas were not wrong. Your first difference engine, and in particular your analytical engine, became a great source of inspiration for many. It is with much regret these calculating machines and our mathematical research not only absorbed a great deal of my time and monies, but were almost the ruin of you, my dear friend Ada. The horse betting theory. <laughs> that was as much my doing as yours. Perhaps we should have concentrated on getting your machine to make to only utilise our technologies when we really needed to. Besides, when you telepathically send a joke to someone, you can't keep the punchline secret. But with such a power, your advances must have been very many. Sure. Heart disease, cancer, AIDS. We've cured them all. <coughs> Bless you. But not the common cold. No. But with a remarkable breakthrough. A fragment of sterile material mathematically squared to catch the germs before they spread. In my day, we called that a kerchief. Bless you. I hope I haven't passed anything on to you. No matter. I'm an old man at the end of a rather long journey. I could enhance you. Enhance me? With microchips that not only extend life, but put information that should be at your fingertips. At your fingertips. A computer chip on the shoulder that allows access to all sorts of information. A chip off the old block, if you like. You, sir, are part man and part machine. You were the logical conclusion of what I set out to prove in my engine all those years ago. So, what will it be, Gramps? A little something to get you over the next 100 years? No, I've seen enough. Ada, my dear, a much adored interpretess, I'm ready to go with you now. Do you see now what you anticipated, Charles? And how the significance of your inventions influenced others? Now, Another journey is about to begin, for both of us. Wait, I didn't get a chance to play you some of our music. Oh, that infernal street organ music. Even in death, am I not to have any peace? <laughs> 